The fastest I ever saw? Easy. He wasn't a Westerner. He was an Easterner. Bruce Lee, by gum. We worked together in 1968 on a Blondie TV show. I'm the world's only living Dagwood. He played my martial arts teacher. I wanted to give the neighborhood bully Bruce Frank Nitty Gordon his comeuppance. Master Lee taught me to summon my forces, to bring fear to my opponent by assuming a terrifying fighting stance and then shouting, Yosh! After my lesson, and full of vinegar, I paid Mr. Gordon a little visit. With a hearty smile, he ushered me into his front room. Immediately, I assumed the dreaded position and screamed, Yosh! Unblinking, Gordon assumed a similar position and yelled back, Yosh! I looked into the camera and whimpered, Uh-oh! At the time of the shoot, I didn't know diddly squat about Bruce Lee, except he portrayed Cato on the Green Hornet TV series. Now, Cato was, uh, uh, here, was here, up close and personal, and much, much more. Bruce and I went to work one cold November in the early aeon after a cup of mocha java. First shot of the day, the setting was his gym, where he demonstrated the rudiments of his method and the power of cosmic energy. The director let us wing it with no rehearsal. Action! Lee, I reckon, was a genius of sorts. He transmitted to me some of his life force. Never before and never since have I felt so at one with the universe. I was light as a feather and strong as an ox. Instant zen. We went with a flow across a wide mat like a dangerous Rogers and Astaire. Remember, Ginger did everything Fred did, only backwards and in high heels. Cut, print, one take. My all-time favorite movie moment. What a joy was Lee between setups. Before a gathering crowd, he showed us some of his unique art. He'd whip his arms and legs through the musty soundstage air with impressive vitality. Whoosh! He sounded like Jack Nicklaus on the first tee. I tried it. All you could hear was, Ouch! He challenged me to a fast draw duel. Bruce Lee style. He placed a penny on my open hand, waist high. His right hand was arm's length above his head. My mission was to close my hand before he could pluck the penny from my palm. <laughs> Piece of cake. Yosh! His hand swept down like a hawk. With my gunslinger's instinct, I made a fast fist. All was quiet. Sheesh! I felt the penny still nestled in my sweaty palm. I also felt sorry for Bruce. People were watching. Because of my swift skill, he was about to lose face. <laughs> Sheepishly, I opened my fingers. There, lying on my lifeline, was a dime. The man had some kind of hand-eye coordination. The man was operating in a dimension unfamiliar to me. Sadly, that was our last show. The New York suits pulled the plug. We were discarded like squeezed lemons. Jim Mr. Dither's Bacchus was philosophical. Now we don't have to buy the crew Christmas presents. I miss Blondie, the kids, Daisy, the mailman, and Mr. Dither's bellowing, Bumstead, you idiot! At least we went out with our best shot, thanks to the magic of Bruce Lee. Of all the actors I ever met, he was the most well-balanced in body, mind, and soul. He went on to international fame and an untimely, mysterious death, but his spirit lingers on. Good night, Bruce Lee, wherever you are. Yosh!